Hello, hello, my friends. Another dedicated candle review for you. Today, we will be talking about Kringle Candles Bananas Foster. And before I dive into the review, I do just want to let you know that I do have windows open today because it is a beautiful day outside. I know that a time is coming when I will not be able to have my windows open and so I try to soak that in as much as I can when opportunity presents itself. So you may hear a little bit of bird song in the background of this video and I hope you enjoy that soundtrack. So let's go ahead and get back to the review here. This is Bananas Foster. This is one of the new fragrances that will be available on the Kringle Candle website starting Friday, March 1st at noon Eastern Standard time. Full disclosure, this candle was sent to me from Kringle Candle in PR. However, if you've been with me for a while, you know that my reviews are always very honest. Uh, sometimes I have glowing things to say. Sometimes I have things to say like, uh, I think this is a repackage or uh, this one's not performing well for me. So um, just wanted to put that out there for you guys in full transparency. At the end of this video, I will also share with you what other candles I plan to review this week. Just just a spoiler alert, this week is going to be pretty much all post burn reviews for this launch on Friday. But again, at the end of this video, I will let you guys know what other fragrances I plan to review this week for you. All right, so this candle is Bananas Foster. Uh, this is their three wick, 14 and a half ounce jar. Now the uh, label here, it's not a printed label. This is actually painted on. I believe that they own some type of equipment that paints the labels. So that makes it a little bit different than some of the other um, candle brands that are putting vessels out in this size. However, one of the things that I do like about this format is that it does fit into some other candle accessories that maybe you have purchased either from say like Bath and Body Works or maybe Yankee or um, just a variety of other accessories. It fits nicely in a bunch of hurricanes. Um, so I personally really, really love this format. The other thing that's really nice is that it does list the fragrance notes on the bottom of the candle. Now I'm not going to lift this candle up to show them to you. However, I will read them off for you. So the top notes are banana, brown sugar, and soft spice. Mid notes of smoked vanilla bean, butter, <clears throat> base notes of soft woods and sweet. All right. so. When I did this, uh, when I sniffed this candle in my kind of like cold sniff impressions video that I put up last week with my husband, the notes that we both picked up right away were banana, <clears throat> brown sugar, and soft spice. Those top notes, for sure. Sorry for that interruption. What comes with the nice spring-like weather are oftentimes allergies and my throat was getting a little bit froggy there. All right, so going back to the top notes are pretty much what my nose smelled on cold sniff. When I lit this candle up, let me tell you guys, the fragrance that I smell is definitely that caramelized banana type of fragrance. Now this is not your Laffy Taffy banana type of scent. This is definitely like, there's a warmth to the banana. This is a banana gourmand type of fragrance. Um, if you happen to like, I'm trying to think of some other fragrances. Oh, uh, like if you happen to like Kringle Candles Fruit and Flakes, uh, there's a little bit of warmth with that one too. You've got some of that like oatmeal in there with a hint of banana in the background. This one, when I lit it up for the first time, the first fragrance that I smelled was definitely banana and it was filling my house. But about an hour into the burn, I definitely started to smell more of that like brown sugar and soft spice accord in there. Now the soft spice is not like red hot cinnamon. I know sometimes people see spice. There's kind of like a, like a, I, I don't, I want to say maybe like a nutmeg in here. Um, it's definitely warm, gooey, caramelized, uh, bananas. I do not get really a rum note in here, which I know that's used in traditional bananas foster. Um, but there is, you know, the smoked vanilla bean and the soft woods, I personally don't get like a woods fragrance or anything from this. But all I can say is that this is a warm, caramelized, um, I would say butter is definitely in there because there's something that you kind of think that this would be a little bit gooey, but I think that the soft woods accord in there actually keeps this fragrance from becoming cloyingly sweet. It, it keeps it from being like a candied banana fragrance. 
This one is actually really, really nice. I am really enjoying this fragrance. Um, especially uh, when it's been lit. Now, the, let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle. So you can see that the, it is currently lit right now. In fact, I have had this candle lit for almost five hours now, so I will be extinguishing it afterwards. You can tell this is the 100% soy wax formula. And one of the things I wanna show you here is that those flames look a little bit low, right? I mean, they're not as bad as say, like when Bath & Body Works gets their puny wick syndrome. Um, but they're definitely not as high as I think I've had some other flames be. The good news with that is that there's no carbon balling, there's no sootiness. You know, we all know that this formula is very, very clean. Now, in terms of strength and throw, I am going to give this candle a solid nine. Yes, I was kind of toying between eight and nine. It's definitely a high, a high strength and throw. However, what I will say in this is that it's not so high that it's irritating to the nostrils. It's not so high that it's headache inducing. It's not so high that I would even find this to be cloying. The reason why when I was kind of toying between an eight and a nine, I placed it at a nine was that every time I have extinguished this candle, I have come, I've usually extinguished it because I was leaving my house to go somewhere. And then I came back two hours later and I could still smell this fragrance, even though the windows had been opened. Um, the fragrance on this one lingers for quite some time. It throws very well in my open concept. I've been burning it without a hurricane in my open concept living room. It throws all the way into the kitchen. It doesn't need to wrap around into the bedrooms, which is totally fine by me. Um, but it's a really solid performer. Now the only like, I, I don't wanna say gripe, but the only thing that kind of was a little bit concerning to me was that on the second burn, I noticed that it took a little bit a little bit longer to pull out. Um, and, and I think it was because the first burn, I feel like the wicks are like, I don't wanna say like raging and roaring, but the, the first burn, the wicks are, are really strong. And then on um, subsequent burns, I just noticed that the wicks, they're not dudding out because like I said, you see a nice deep wax pool here. You're, it's emitting a lot of fragrance, but the wicks are just, the, um, the burn seems to be slightly slower than the first one. So that was of concern to me when I was burning it for the second time, but I will say that this has been my fifth time burning this candle and the third, fourth, and fifth burns, I didn't have that problem with this one. Now, some things that you might want to take in a, into account account are the ambient temperature right now in my home. Again, I live in Arizona. I told you my windows are open. My uh, room temperature right now in my house has been around 72 to 74 degrees in the house. Uh, my home is approximately 1800 square feet. It is a single story uh, built about 20 years ago. So it's kind of that like American open concept style of home. When I burn this candle in my bedroom, it is definitely very, very strong in there. Uh, and again, the fragrance lingers for a long time. So this candle definitely gets a two thumbs up from me, especially in this three wick format. I do believe that the price point on this candle is $26. Again, it will be available this Friday, March 1st at noon Eastern Standard Time on the Kringle website. I do have a discount code with Kringle. It is KD15. It will save you 15% off of your purchase over at Kringle. But also remember you guys, if this one is not currently in your budget, if, if, you're, if you've kind of blown your candle budget recently, just remember that this is part of their spring and summer launch. So these are not limited edition candles. These are ones that I think that they release. There, there's a grand total of 12 of them. They tend to see, I think, which ones perform the best and um, sell the most. And then they tend to kind of just incorporate those into their main line. So don't feel FOMO over this. It, this is not the Easter launch. This is not the limited edition country jars. Yes, if it's in your budget and you want to pick it up right at launch time, I do have the discount code that is an affiliate. I do make a small commission on that if you choose to use it. And so I just always like to be forthcoming with that. And I want to say thank you very much if you do choose to use it. Um, other fragrances that are coming up this week in terms of some post burn reviews, I looked at the comment section and, and took heed to a lot of your feedback. So obviously we have this candle that I'm talking about today. Other fragrances that I will be reviewing are ice cream sandwiches. Spoiler alert, this candle and the ice cream sandwiches, holy moly beautiful summer gourmand 
combination. Oh my word. If you want, if you want your house to smell like you are taking, um, like a trip to the beach, but you're enjoying dessert on the beach, uh, th those are the fragrances for you. So that's a little bit of a spoiler alert for that ice cream sandwiches. I'm also planning to review cake pops for you as well as charred pineapple. And I might even be able to squeeze in one other country candle review in there because there's a fragrance that pairs really nicely with charred pineapple. So all of that will be coming up on my channel this week. Let me see, is there anything else that I need to talk about? I'm not really sure. Um, oh, you know what? The other formats that this candle comes in, this one also comes in the large two wick tumblers, the medium size two wick tumblers, and it will also be available in the daylight and the wax melts. Now, something that I have been talking about with some of the other Kringle ambassadors, because some of them were, we actually were all able to pre-order this launch. And so some of them, um, if they didn't receive it in PR, they ended up purchasing a couple of the wax melts or daylights. And I will tell you that some of them are smelling a little bit different notes in their, um, in their formats, I guess. And we have come to the conclusion that we think that sometimes that is because the daylights and the wax melts are in a paraffin formula still. So just be aware of that. This is a 100% soy wax formula in the actual vessels of the candles, but the wax melts and the daylights, they have not yet been able to move those over into a 100% soy wax. So um, yeah, just be aware of that sometimes. All right, you guys, uh, let me know in the comment box down below if you were uh, happy to see me review this one. Is this one that you have your eye on for the launch this Friday? Also, um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. YouTube should be suggesting some of my other content at the end of this video. If you happen to have missed my first sniffs video, I did do that with my husband and that was a lot of fun because um, you got two opinions in one video. So, and also he's just completely unhinged sometimes in his reviews. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. So I will make sure to have that linked at the end of this video. But I want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.